Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. Um, I will start with a general read and then we will do free oracle cards for participants. Um, and we do tarot upon donation. So we will begin with just a general reading. Hi, I speak my truth. How are you doing today? Hi, Jodes. How are you? Um, Jodes, where are you from? Could you say morning? And for me, it is like almost 441. Just going to begin with a general. I'll show you nice. And then the bottom of the deck is the orphaned card. Um, and then we get the all that glitters card. So that's really beautiful energy. Um, and that was the last one that came out. So we're going to put it in that position. Um, the middle card is the co-create card. And the first card that came out was, is the breathe card, which I feel like it's saying to meditate. So meditate and co-create all um, all the abundance that you seek, um, you know. Um, so that's really beautiful. And we will get a little bit of tarot um, for clarity on that message. But um, I'm curious about this orphaned energy, though. Um, have you left somebody feeling orphaned? Have you pulled your energy back a little bit? Um, so, um, we shall um, see, see what, the, what the cards say. Um, Get the current energy is the Knight of Swords. Um, that is the fastest movement energy in the deck. Um, that is normally a message of clarity, like a big aha moment. Um, and that's crossed by the Knight of Wands, which is action. So I feel like um, you may get a aha moment um, and decide to really take action on it. I feel like you may get that, uh, you know, aha moment when you're meditating, um, you know, co-creating with Source. Um, so if when you're when you're meditating, if you get the impulse to do something, um, you know, big or small, um, you know, do it. Um, if you're getting a lot of ideas, write them down. You know, take action with that. Don't just you know let let source give you messages and you just completely ignore them. Um, the foundation card is the moon card, which is. Um, you know, that shadow side, it is, you know, cancer energy, it is mother energy. Um, I feel like maybe, um, maybe you have a little bit of an aha moment, you know, about some, you know, something that's triggering you, a shadow, a pattern, um, something that's happening. I, th I feel like you're gaining some real clarity on it. And I feel like that happens like instantaneous. Um, the immediate future energy is, you know, the wheel or the world. So that is beautiful energy. You know, that cycle completing, you know, the fool begins his journey, you know, as, you know, very emotionally immature. And the world is the completion of, of that cycle. Um, it is also the beginning of that new cycle that, you know, because I feel that 21 goes to a three and, you know, that is that. It, it's hitting me with that co-create card. So what would you like to, uh, how would you like to change your patterns that you have? Um, is there something that triggers you? Um, and if so, how would, how would you like to handle it better? Um, the headspace card is the magician, which is, I feel definitely in line with that co-creation card. Um, that is the one card. So we get the one card and the 21 card. So the full cycle there, um, 
I, I feel like you can really fix the cycle by seeing the shadow of it. Um, and I feel like you're going to gain clarity of that really, really quickly. Um, the recent past is the Ace of Pentacles, which is, you know, a new beginning, a new opportunity. And I feel like this is a new opportunity to, you know, change, change this cycle in your, in your life to bring in exactly, exactly, you know, what do you want to co-create, you know? What would it be like if that person that you've been longing for actually called you and said, hey, let's go to dinner. Let's go away for the weekend. Let's move in together. What would it be like if, you know, um, source is asking you to, you know, have that, you know, wide eyed, um, carefree abandon to, you know, really wish. What would it be like if? Um what would it be like if the two of cups was right there? Because that is the environment card. You can really manifest this two of cups if you um, just put your energy there and, and focus on the pattern. What is the pattern? If this person is in and out, when they leave, how does that make you feel? My guess is orphaned. And I'll tell you, it's it happens. It's because the fate. It's because you have... The unfinished symphony, that is your Chiron. You have to finish, you know, you have to finish the lesson. And, and once you do, then then the blessing card comes in, that blessed card. So I, I feel like it's saying, you know, it's time to take the action to heal the pattern. Um, how others see you is the Page of Cups. Do they feel like you're very disconnected from them? Um, do they feel like you've pulled away? Do they not know, you know... Have you been speaking from your heart a little bit more? Has that, does that confuse people? Um, have you always been really shy and now, you know, you're sharing your emotions and feelings? Um, yeah, I feel like there's definitely, you know, a change in your energy. You know, that page is young energy. So I feel like maybe you're having a heart chakra activation. Um, and maybe just spending time getting reconnected to, you know, what, what does make you happy? Where is your true heart's desire? Um, and the hopes and fears card is the Ten of Pentacles. I believe that is your hope, and I believe it is also your fear. You know, what would it be like if? What would it be like if this person did come back and want to put a ring on your finger? What would it be like if that really happened? Um, you know, you get you get the dream. You know, you get that opportunity. Source is saying right now it wants to co-create with you. So take some time, I feel, and really meditate and and you know decide what you want. And decide what baggage you need to put down because that outcome card is the Ten of Wands. That is putting down the stuff that does not serve you. Putting down that baggage that's weighing you down. The things that you're carrying with you that, you know, are just, you know, family karma. Things that you need to heal and let go of. Um, so, it's very nice with those two tens together with the world there. Um the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Death card, and the Queen of Cups. Uh, with the Four of Wands, or the Four of Swords on the bottom, which again, I feel is that, you know, meditation, healing, you know, energy. Um, you know, the Queen of Cups is really, you know, grounded. And I feel like as you step into figuring out, you know, what is going on and you begin being that wounded warrior leader for other people and shining your light um the person from the pa that past person i feel like even if it's sometimes it's somebody you haven't even met yet but it's really past life because if you're watching me you're probably a twin flame because we tend to channel that energy um and then as you step into that you know really and doing the work um that transformation is going to come but I feel like that transformation has to come by you, you know, being very grounded and balanced in all the aspects of your life um, and being ready to co-create with source and look, look, you know, look at the pattern. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely that you have to look at where the emotional pattern is from the past. Um, that is, that's, you know. That's what can really bring in that two of cups, um, you know, that I believe we're, you know, all seeking. So um, that is the general energy. We're also going to pull a couple of romance angels. So you want me to post these as separate videos once we finish the live. So 
Um, we are doing that, so we are going to pull um, cards for general guidance. And the card is the free yourself card. It's time for you to take back control of your life, which is, I feel, free yourself from this pattern. And then the soulmate card is on the bottom because, yes, this is your soulmate. So I feel like you have the opportunity to manifest all of this by just deciding, um, you know, what is holding you back? What do you need to let go of? Um, What do you need to let go of to really bring in this Ten of Pentacles? So I feel like it's a great opportunity to switch it up from that Ten of, that ten of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles. So um, I feel like you can easily do that through your meditation, through connecting with Source, um, and, and through really dreaming big. You know, what would it be like if? What would it be like if that person called and said, hey, I want to put a ring on that finger. Hey, I can't live another day without you. Um, what would it be like if that happened? Because um, you can really, you have the clarity and the opportunity really to bring it in super duper quick. All you have to do is see the pattern. How does it feel when whatever that person is doing triggers you? How does it make you feel? Um, because you you get to be the one to see the pattern. Um, you have to be the one to have the clarity on the pattern to figure out how to free yourself. Because, you know, it, it's a beautiful time to do that. Um, with the all the glitters card and the blessed card, you know, um, I feel like, you know, that saying you can have that, that beautiful dream that you want. Um, all you have to do is really believe it. Um, so that is the general energy for the day. Um, and then we will get into Oracle cards. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Pooja. Uh, hi, Mayhi. How are you? Um, hope everyone is doing well. Um, so you want to come do a live? She's like, let's go do something. So um, I meditated earlier and got a huge download and like, it zonked me out, and then she was like raring to go. So here we are. <laughs> so here we are. Um, 